Hi there everybody, it's Chef Martin from the Thermalworks Demo Kitchen. Today we want to talk about caramel apples. Caramel apples are great, they're a seasonal favorite, but you know, they can be hard to make right. The, the caramel falls off the apple or it's really tough and pulls your fillings out. We're going to show you the solutions to these problems and more. Stick around for some great temps and tips. We'll start by adding the sugar, the salt, and the water to the pan. We'll turn it to medium-high heat, and we'll stir it while the sugar dissolves into the water. Once it comes to a boil, we're not going to stir it anymore, and we'll boil it until the water cooks out and we turn the sugar a nice golden brown. We'll take some fine-grained sandpaper, 220 grit, and we'll sand the outside of the apples until they're just scuffed up. That will help the caramel adhere to the outside of the apple better. Once you've sanded your apples, it's time to put some sticks on them. Use some heavy duty candy sticks or some cut up chopsticks or something like that and just stick it in the top of the apple. It doesn't have to go in very deep. Place your apples in the fridge to chill so that the caramel will adhere better. Our sugar syrup right now has a nice golden brown color and a nice caramely aroma, so it's time to add the cream. As you add the cream, be careful. A lot of steam is gonna come off of this and you can easily burn your fingers. Now that we've added the cream, it's time to cook our caramel to firm ball stage. That's 245 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level. Now you want to subtract one degree Fahrenheit for every 500 feet of elevation that you are above sea level. So we're gonna subtract about eight degrees here. So we're gonna be shooting for something in the range of 237 to 242 degrees Fahrenheit. Guessing the temperature of the caramel is not a great way to succeed. You want caramel that is supple enough to enjoy without being too hard, but you want it to be firm enough to cling to the apple. We're going to use the Thermopen 1, which is accurate to 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to temp this as it cooks every couple of minutes. Just keep temping it, wipe the probe off, temp it another minute later, wipe the probe off, and just keep checking over and over again to make sure that you're landing right in that firm ball stage zone. Again, that's 245 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level. We're at 240 degrees. We're gonna take this off the heat and add the vanilla to it, and we're ready to dip our apples. Now, simply dip the apples in the caramel. Be careful not to burn your hand on the pot. Roll the apple around in there. Let the excess caramel drain off, and then set it on a parchment-lined baking sheet. If you wanna make the best caramel apples, remember, scuff the surface, use some sandpaper, keep the apples cold, and cook your caramel to firm ball stage. 245 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit adjusted for elevation. Do those things, you're gonna have amazing caramel apples. Until next time, thank you for watching. This is Chef Martin from Thermoworks. Happy cooking.